What's up, everybody? Will back. Will shop dating. And we're back with the 2004 Nissan Sentra 1.8. And today, we're going to be changing the radiator. I will play a couple videos showing you where the radiator is leaking from. Right here. So we're going to change the radiator. And we're also going to change this upper radiator hose. As you see there. <laughs> Alright, so first thing you want to do. I do not have to jack my car up, but... If you do, jack up your vehicle, put it on jack stand, secure it properly. Take the cap off of the overflow and the radiator so it flows cool. Your drain peacock is on the driver's side of the vehicle on the radiator. Right there. Here is the hose and the part number. I got off a of rock auto. Um, 71891. Um, these are 12 millimeters. We have two brackets, one here, one here, holding the radiator in. Go ahead and zip those up. No, I see. Yeah, we can remove this hook. Sorry, I got a couple of hooks. Bolt, bolt, bracket. Stop that hose. Okay. And that is one bracket. We're going to place it right over there. And the second bracket, I'm going to try to get in slow motion. Okay, back. Uh, we just removed the brackets. It's pretty much drain, done draining. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the upper radiator hose clamp, which I like using these pliers because they lock. And get it twist and work it right off. There. Uh, uh, I might need some. Yeah, I might need some other pliers. Hold on, let me go get a pair. Okay, back with a pair of regular vice grips. Should make quick work of it. This one I like to push forward a little bit more. Stay away from that street, Carter. I said stay away from it. Alright, there we go. Alright, we got that off. Clamp is off. Yeah, sorry. Get the turn. It doesn't want to come off. It's really on there, so I'm gonna get a flathead screwdriver and pry that off real quick. And hose. Got right there, all right, got the new hose installed temporarily, just there. Got it well past that. I'm gonna clamp it down here, right here, and we're all good. I'm gonna start to remove these two screws that are holding the fan on. So you got your thing, one right here, 
and you got one right here. Yes! Alright, be back as soon as I do that. Okay. They're also 10 millimeter books. I like Mulan too. I like Mulan too. All right, back. Just got the fan out. I didn't disconnect it. I just unscrewed it. And as you can see, flipped it out the way. Make sure that you loosen, unloosen that lower right here hose. And now, you got to go down and loosen this line and that line there. If you need to, um, label it so you know, so you don't forget. But I know that this short line runs right here. No longer line runs over there. Yeah, let me get that unhooked and get this radiator out and put the new one in. Sweet. I got the transmission lines loose. I'm throwing some gloves. Just don't cut my hands. I'm going to try to hang them up a little bit. If it doesn't come off easy, just twist it. Break it free. It should come right off. There's one. I'm going to sit that right there. Put it up in here by the oxygen sensor. Alright, and number two. somewhere so it's not sitting let's go against this mount all right got one against the mount and got that up there as you see we're leaking it should go right up there we go old busty radiator oh get those here out with the old Now I'm walking on Tories, everything. Old and brand new. Just compare the parts, make sure. I just got it out, didn't come with a cap. Roughly same size, same holes, same tube, same petcock. Petcock's a little over this way, but that's cool. It's nice, it's metal. Sweet. Good welds on it. Tighten all these up real quick before I install it, but it's pretty much it. All right, back. Got all the lines on, secure, nice and clamp. And I left that clamp on the bottom, and that clip there, and that hose there. Nice and good. I just have to secure this, and then I start putting the fan back on and fill her up with coolant. Okay, back. I've installed the fan, as you can see here, and here, down there, correct, a couple of wire looms and stuff I need to put back into its loom, but other than that, everything is hooked up, all of the lines are hooked up, all of the hoses, as you can see, brand new top hose, I may change this hose eventually, because it's probably just as bad, but the lower right your hose doesn't have that much pressure. And time to fill it up. I'll be right back. I'm going to take a quick break and come back fill it up. I'm also going to empty that. It has nothing but water in it, so I want to empty that out. As you can see, full with green coolant. Took the whole thing. I'm going to start it. And I'm also going to go get another one to fill that up. May use just a little bit of water. Well, you can see, it's going down. Let's go start it, check for leaks. Put the top off. Let it take down any cooler. Check the leaks. Put the cap on. It was full though. I guess it just takes one whole, whole thing. Oh, I was about to say, don't tell me the cap won't fit. That would be terrible. This is a brand new cap. Good there. Just check under the leak, underneath for any leaks. 
the good stuff. Nothing. A little drip. She seems good. Get her up to operating temperature. Change the radiator on a 2004 Nissan Sentra 1.8. Hope I covered it well enough. So you can change it too. Pretty simple. I'll run over real quick. Two hoses, two transmission line hoses. This disconnect the fan, which are two 10 millimeter, till 10 millimeter fasteners. I want to say take make off to your right and subscribe to another two 10 millimeter fasteners. I want to remind you to go check out Wheel Shop. All right, that's it. Bruce. Also, after this video, will be me ordering the part off of Rock Auto. Thank you. Have a blessed day. day. This is me ordering from Rock Auto. Look for my vehicle. My vehicle is a 2004 Nissan Sentra. The 1.8 model. And we're looking for a radiator, so we're going to go down to coolant system. I will be doing a video running through all of them so y'all I can help y'all find parts. And we're gonna click radiator. And as you can see we have several choices. Um, you have a plastic radiator, the plastic top. Since mine was leaking from the plastic, I decided to go with a full aluminum radiator, as you will see coming up here. I was just running down through them for the purpose of the video. Show you the dis different prices of the radiators to show that you did not have to buy the most expensive radiator. Replacement radiators are not that expensive, brand new off of Rock Auto. But as you can see down there at Premium, I went the, with the Premium OE quality added features, which is a full aluminum welded radiator by Leland Global I should have also ordered two brand new radiator hoses because of the aluminum uh, the hoses did not stick to the to it like it was plastic so I did have a leak the next day and just going up and I'm gonna make my order I do use Rock Auto for 95% of my parts And this is me showing you the part and ordering it. 